Hi, welcome. Simon here, and I hope you're doing well. If you wonder why your touchpad is not clickable, the left click and the right click, in this video, we will be troubleshoot and find out the reason why. All right, this is the HP laptop. First thing first, I need to get the metal prying tool to remove this rubber stopper. Underneath that rubber, you're going to see screws hidden behind it. So only the um, the top left and the top right have the hidden screws in there. Get yourself a Phillips screwdriver. We're going to remove the screws. And if you notice that the laptop is not holding the charge, meaning that if the battery is fully charged at 100% and it only lasts you for like half an hour or less, then more likely the battery is it's not holding the charge. Here, the bottom screws is a lot smaller, so get a smaller Phillips screwdriver. Uh, this one is 1.5 millimeter. That's the size of the uh, screwdriver. Go ahead and remove the screws. Once you have removed all the screws, we now can see that the gap is opening up at the bottom here. That is because the battery is pushing the back cover. So let me go ahead and separate the, uh, the back cover here. I wonder if there's a screw here on this side of the rubber. Nope, there is none. Just take your time, gently pry open those back cover here. All right, there you go. I apologize for earlier. I was having some difficulties to pry open the back cover. For some reason, it got really st sticky and not sticky, but it got stuck real good and I couldn't pry it open. I was trying to be careful with the plastic not to crack it. So, but anyway, I finally was able to remove it. Now, if you remove the back cover, first thing you notice that your battery is underneath here and the battery is right below the trackpad. If you take a closer look, you can see that the battery is swollen. There's a lump on the battery, as you can see, and it's very hard. So what happened is that the battery is pushing at the back of the trackpad or the touchpad, therefore making the clicker is very hard to click. So get a Phillips screwdriver and start removing the screws. There are four screws and the battery will just pop right out. Okay. So the battery is not holding the charge and it's going bad. Now this is the replacement model HT03XL or you can look it up the spare number here which is L1119-855. Anyway, what I'll do is I'll link 
the uh, battery down in the description below where you can buy it through either Amazon or eBay. Uh, they do ship the battery to you, hopefully. Okay, because it's a lithium ion battery. Uh, some of the uh, uh, the UPS or the USPS might not ship it to, to your location. So I'm not sure, uh, but you should do your own due diligence and maybe look it up on eBay or Amazon for that reason. Okay, again, just want to point it out to you. The uh, clicker is actually bottom here. And now I can feel the click is clicking because when I press that little touchpad, I can feel the clicker is working. Hopefully you can hear the clicker sound. Uh, let me move closer to the microphone. All right, so that is the clicker, which is perfectly fine. And there you have it. So again, um, very easy to reinstall. I mean, uh, all you have to do is get a battery, put it back together like so, and the screws, one, two, three, and four four screws right where my fingers are okay the four screws in there got the plate back plate push it back and press it in they're all clipper on the side so you got to push it a little bit hard and three screws here at the bottom and three screws on the top with the two rubber covering up that screws and you'll be fine all right, I hope this video is helpful. And if you do find the video is helpful, all I'm asking is just to smash a like button for me. Um, hopefully, I can get something in return from you. Hopefully, this video helps you to repair your laptop, uh, replace the battery. And in return, all I'm asking is just a little like. And if you haven't subscribed, please feel free to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time, bye now.